Welcome to the Popish Plot. I'm Nate. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. And today we're here with a saint. Surprisingly. Surprise! <laughs> Although, because we here at the Popish Plot always want to bring you added value, this saint has companions. All right. And not just a few. So today's saint is Saint Augustine Jiao Rong. Uh, also known as Zhao Rong, and this was a, a viewer request. Mm -hmm. um, they were born in the mid to late 1700s in Su Chun province in China. I hope I got that right. I probably did Sichuan. not. Are you sure? Yeah. That seems reasonable. Okay. That that is just the more proper spelling of Sichuan. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. I think you're using Wei Giles, not the more modern... Uh, anglicization schemes. Regardless. Yeah. And then, Anyways. It's what the sources said. Totally. I couldn't be like, is totally. this the modern? Mm -hmm. And I could be wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, and they died in 1815 in Beijing. Also in China. In case you were, in case you were, you know, not sure. <laughs> Beijing, Mississippi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, at the time, of course, it was known as Peking. Um, well, at Saint, least from the West. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We Westerners call it that. Um, so, St. Augustine and his companions have their feast day on July the 9th. The only attributes I could find for, for him personally mm -hmm. is that he was a priest, so he was dressed as a priest. Yep. Uh, in general, there's the fact that it's, you know, him and all his companions, the majority of which were, were, were Asians. There were a number of Westerners missionaries included in the group. Mm -hmm. So, you know, like 75 to 25, big group of people. <laughs> so it's always, a, it's always a crowd setting. <laughs> yep. Uh, their, their collective patronage is China. Um, I don't know if any other companions have other ones. That's sure. all I could find is, sure. you know, for them. Mm -hmm. And he personally was a soldier and then a martyr and a priest. Right. Yep. So as Jess mentioned, he was a soldier in China whose company was sent to take the missionary bishop, John Gabriel Tarin Dufres, nice. to Beijing to be executed for being a Christian. Less nice. Yeah. Uh, before the bishop's death, he converted and asked to be baptized, taking the Christian name Augustine. It is always great when a guard is converted by the those, person he's guarding. Seriously, those are the best ones. They really make for the best stories when you're the persecutor of the Christians and through your persecution, you are exposed to the witness that you cannot deny and must accept. Mm-hmm. Uh, he then became a priest, and he was the first Chinese-born diocesan priest. And then he was later also tortured and murdered. Well, that's nice. <laughs> it was a, it was a very difficult time to be a uh, to be an outsider, especially one who's who's attempting to convert the inside. Well, then as now, the gospel has often had a hard time inside the Middle Kingdom. Yes. Mm. Yes, yes. Which was now we get to his in companions because there was companions, companions, and then more companions. Because there is a total of a hundred and twenty saints that have the same feast day together. <laughs> so him and a hundred and nineteen of his closest friends, some of whom he never met before, after they both ended up in heaven. <laughs> All friends in heaven. Yeah. So Saint Augustine Zhao Rong and his one hundred nineteen <laughs> companions, or the martyr saints of China. Because there's a pretty common theme for how they all met their end. Yes, most and, of them. And were... in fairness, not all of them could have possibly known each uh, other, each other mm -hmm. because, well, number one, there's 119 of them. That's a that's a lot of people. Unless you're all in one place, it's hard to get to know 120 people. I mean, you know 120 yeah, people. But anyway, yeah, but the know, majority of them I'm were special. martyred during the Boxer Rebellion. However, there were various times throughout Chinese history in which it was. Illegal to be Christian slash follow non-Chinese religions. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes it wasn't just a blanket statement of, you know, no Christian. Sometimes it was, well, these are our traditional beliefs yep. and you're not one of them. Mm -hmm. um, so this includes martyrs. This whole group concludes martyrs from China from 1648 to 1930. Yeah. <laughs> and, and so, yeah, I, I find it really hard to believe, you know, that there's like 200, you know, 60 year old, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, of the group, 87 were native-born Chinese people, and mm -hmm. they ranged, like Saint Augustine. They ranged in age from about nine to 72. Uh, this included four priests. Um, it also included a large amount of catechists and just regular everyday lay people who happened to be, you know, Christian. Mm -hmm. Dominicans, Franciscans, Jesuits, 
Salesians, and the Paris Foreign Mission Society. Made up the majority of the 33 foreign-born people who were largely either a priest or a female religious who was, you know, coming to be missionaries. Mm -hmm. And the one who kicked it all off? <laughs> Father Francisco Fernandez de Capillas. Who, who, was, no you know, who was a Dominican who was killed on January 15th, 1648, uh, by beheading while praying the rosary. Now, he knew he was getting beheaded. It wasn't mm -hmm. like, you know, he was just sitting there praying, praying the and rosary he and somebody, you know. <laughs> you know? It wasn't an ambush beheading. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, he was he was praying the sorrowful mysteries, because what are you going to pray if, you, was... if you're praying a rosary when they're going to kill you? Yes. Well, <laughs> you could mock them by praying the glory <laughs> mysteries. Yes. This wasn't, this, wasn't, this wasn't an ambush beheading. <laughs> this was, sad to say, a scheduled beheading. Well, like like St. Thomas More. It was a plan. It, it was intentional to kind of beer. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, yes, yes. This this of the group was known mm. as the proto martyr of China because he was the first one that we know of for sure with name and information. Uh, China had on and off had Christian missionaries appearing since the six hundreds. So there were still, you know, earlier on pockets of Christianity, but Yeah. <laughs> you know, the, yeah, Christian you know, the Church of the East was there, the you know, the Nestorians had got there. But, you know, missionaries from the West, you know, martyred f starting in 1648. Now, for a group of, of, of saint and companions, mm -hmm. interestingly, they were, be they were, they were um, beatified on two separate occasions. Like some, you know, group A in this group and group B in this well, group. Maybe there was a capacity <laughs> limit. We're only going to beatify so many guys at this point. But we got more guys. Well, we'll have to do that Tuesday. I mean, I, I, I suppose there could be secret lobbying from the Korean martyrs group. They're like, we want to be the biggest group all at once, be edified. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, I, I don't know if that's a, com a competition you want to win, but yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. No. We, get, we get all these other guys. Look, the room has a capacity limit of 125. <laughs> and we got to get the, and we got to get the pope and a bunch of bishops and priests in there. So but I'm early, sorry, they're just going to have to Early write. in his pontificate, Pope Francis acknowledged the martyrs of a Toronto. So that might be the most. That was like over 700. Maybe. And mm. part of it is that not everyone in the total group was martyred by the time the first group was already beatified. Boom. Because the first group was beatified May 27th in the year 1900 by Pope Leo the 13th. And then the second group it was on November 24th, 1946 uh, by, Pipe, by Pope Pius the 12th. Now, 1900 is still the middle of the Boxer Rebellion, so Christians are being actively martyred at that point, which almost certainly served as an incentive for Pope Leo to acknowledge all these you know, Chinese martyrs, all these martyrs in China. Sadly, sadly, it was such a tumultuous time, because I gotta say, the Boxer Rebellion, mm -hmm. just in name, sounds awesome. I mean, I'm pretty sure at that time and place, it was... That's like the popular cultural name of yeah. it now. That's what we out. That's what we outsiders. But I'm it. just saying. Sure. It's, it's, sure. It's, it's really it's, it's 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 really bad marketing because I want it to be something good and it's really not. Yes. Yes. <laughs> but it does I'm, sound awesome. <laughs> I'm imagining this being the the other name of like the Rumble in the Jungle or something. Right? You know, <laughs> Gorilla in Manila. A whole bunch of a whole bunch of boxers got tired got tired got tired of being exploited and they rose up. I like, put a, a, a better contender. They rose up against their managers. And, <laughs> but anyway, they well, were in a way. Their managers and their agents. And that's it. We're not doing this. We're not fighting for you anymore. We're fighting for ourselves. All right, back to the, 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 the saints of China. They were all canonized together on October 1st, 2000 by Pope John Paul II. Bing! Awesome. JP the Great getting the good work done. Making so many saints. Now, it is important to acknowledge that wherever the gospel is spread, it will always be met with resistance. But it is also important to acknowledge that one of the things that prompted the Box of Rebellion was the bad witness given not by these Christians, but by many others who called themselves Christians and yet participated in the exploitation and oppression of China. And, you know, while, 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 it, while a martyrdom is always something that we should not look upon happily, per se... Uh, it it has been it has been known throughout time that the blood of the martyrs is the seed 
of the church. Mm -hmm. Because in, in all these cases where the, historically there have been massive martyrdoms, afterwards it always grew back that much harder because of the amazing Christian witness made by the people who were being persecuted. Mm -hmm. I mean, even in this story, the, the main saint in the group was in charge of, hey, we have to take this person to be killed for being a Christian. And, you know, you know, you know you're not such a bad guy. <laughs> I, I would like to learn more about this uh, forbidden religion. <laughs> if it wasn't my job, I probably wouldn't I probably wouldn't be taking you to be killed. Um, <laughs> Anytime that you are so committed to your good works and to your beliefs that you're willing to die for them, that becomes attractive to others. Wow, I don't have anything in my life that I believe in that much. What do you have that I don't? And that's when Bishop Duvray says, ah, let me tell you about my friend Jesus. Or the word for Jesus in French, because he was a French missionary. Oui, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so while we are not all called to be martyrs, we are all called to be saints. And the thing that makes the saintly martyrs, as you pointed out, so good is they have that thing, Jesus, for which they would be willing to die. Mm -hmm. So look into your spiritual life. Where are you at in that relationship? Are you, I, I presume, like most of us, you're not there yet. But are you moving in the direction that you could theoretically be there someday? Because mm -hmm. God willing, none of us will ever have to go there. But at the same time, God willing, we'd all have the grace that if it came to that point, we'd be ready. Amen. See, we, 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 we've already, you know, aired the what about a, a religious education. So we can't go and then discuss about the, you know, what are your spiritual gifts where, where everyone got martyr on, on your, you know, test scores. <laughs> you you <Hey>. can die. <laughs> hey. I got you know, it. You'd be really good at dying. dying. <laughs> Most people are really good at dying. It, it, I mean, a number it's of people virtually are virtually 100% effectiveness. Yeah. Are, are, are very, you know. <laughs> essentially bad at it as seen by the number of historic things where it's like this person should have died 20 times but somehow they didn't and then, oh, then, Mike and, then they were, and then they were taken out by a cold or something <laughs> or a number <laughs> well again harry houdini and all of his death defined escapes one guy punches him and he dies well, he had appendicitis i'm not saying that he didn't but <laughs> and slight insult about detroit medical things because we can we're, we're from michigan <laughs> So he anyways, turned his room into a broom closet. <laughs> so anyways, this saint was recommended to us by a viewer. Maybe you've got a saint you'd like to recommend to us. Mm -hmm. Go down below to that comment section and throw their name out there. It's not going to hurt you. Uh, odds are nobody's going to laugh at you. I'm a, I might. I might. <laughs> it but, really but depends on the saint. We'll laugh with you. But not at you, at you. Just, you know... In solidarity with you. There you go. I and like it. I don't even know what they'd have to say about a saint for me to laugh at them. Say it with a really funny name? Maybe. The patron saint of fart jokes? Mm -hmm. Is there a patron, patron saint of fart jokes? I, I not hope officially. Not. I hope not. I mean, there, there, there's one probably, of clowns. Uh, probably, probably St. Dominic Savio. There, one of yeah, the kid saints. <laughs> humor, you know. St. Francisco Marto. <laughs> <laughs> He's up there in heaven. Pull my finger. While you're down, While you're down there... Click the like button, the subscribe, the bell next to it so you get notified when a new episode comes out. And until next time, remember to live your faith. Love your faith. And share, share that, that love. love. <laughs> and pray for the mind. church in China.